That's true. Um, in fact, we are dealing with a film uh, that combines uh, several different genres. Uh, the main reason for uh, this structure is um, um, the character of Akram. Uh, she's someone who in um, some corners of uh, her mind deals with uh, everything um, very secretively uh, in uh, some instances. Uh, she deals very stupidly um, in some instances uh, she deals very childishly in some cases uh, she becomes um, very wise and major uh, some of her actions are very kind uh, and some others um, are very cruel uh, um, I figured uh, that translating such a character into a cinematic structure would automatically lead lead us uh, to a mixture of uh, genres. Um, of course, I definitely like this uh, com combination of genres, uh, and um, the reason for choosing this character was that uh, I wanted it uh, to be in within uh, my circle of tastes. Uh, um, but uh, but uh, this expla explanation um, uh, was uh, to state that I wanted uh, she form uh, I wanted the form um, uh, of the film and um, Akram's character uh, to be in um, harmony with each one another. Um, Akram's character uh, is inspired by a real character that I lived uh, with uh, for years. Uh, I had tried several several times uh, to write a story based um, on that character, uh, but uh, it was never done. Um, uh, mm, until after years. Um, of making short films and documentaries uh, I went back to Akram's character to make my first um, f first feature fiction film uh, with um, a storyline um, I thought um, to myself um, what would happen if that character were in a fictional situation which you saw in the film um, and uh, could take revenge uh, for the um, for the um, uh, um, for the insult uh, that um, her brother was making to her. Uh, what happened? Uh, I thought uh, I would um, allow this character, uh, I mean Akram, uh, in the film um, not to be um, passive. Uh, this is very charm of cinema and uh, and the outcome uh, of this challenging was uh, uh, the story of the buttocks yes um I think um, drugs uh, are a crisis in Iran. Uh, I say this uh, because um, of years that I was making documentaries, um, especially social documentaries, uh, and uh, did a lot of research on uh, this subject. Um, this crisis um, is uh, especially complicated for the generation aged um, under 30. Mm, 
I don't know whether uh, there is a social commentary or not, but um, this is definitely my um, perception of uh, the society which I live in. Um, I make no claims uh, whatsoever uh, that uh, this is some sort of the com sort of commentary or a true or false perception. Uh, I can only say uh, that this is my uh, this is um, 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 this is what I think. The title Botox um, actually uh, has a significant connection with uh, the story of the film. Uh, the action uh, that takes uh, place uh, in Botox uh, cosmetic operation uh, and uh, it is pointed, uh, pointed out somewhere uh, in the film. Uh, is that in a Botox operation, in order to achieve a temporary and relative beauty, you um, kill um, or freeze a uh, few muscles and, uh, then, um, and then that beauty will last forever. Um, whereas, uh, in fact, uh, we all know that uh, this um, beauty is temporary and not um, permanent. Um, this, this is almost um, like uh, what Akram does in the film. That, that is, in, in order to fulfill in fi uh, final dream, um, um, I mean final sequence, uh, in the film, uh, she first kills her brother, then her sister, and uh, finally herself, um, in order to achieve to final dream. But uh, the final dream is not much a dream. Um, um, but it um, it is similar to uh, Akram's mentality. In fact, uh, Akram act. Uh, uh, is similar to Botox itself and uh, the final outcome uh, is just as uh, um, deceiving and uh, seemingly beautiful but um, but uh, but bitter I think um, um, an independent filmmaker in Iran and all over the world um, is a filmmaker uh, who is looking for uh, for uh, new ways in uh, cinema because um, he or she wants to escape uh, do's and uh, don'ts uh, of mainstream cinema. I mean, um, have to and uh, don't have to. Uh, those do's and, and don'ts uh, may be about uh, the content um, or form or uh, shape of the film or uh, a selection of a storytelling um, uh, for example mainstream cinema in any country tends towards classic storytelling and uh, financially it's, um, it has a specific uh, definitions in uh, each country for example mainstream cinema in Iran uh, are uh, films that uh, are mostly supported by uh, the government and governmental grants uh, while uh, while in m many parts of the world uh, government funds uh, or grants uh, are um, mainly for independent films uh, you may uh, use governmental uh, grants in Iran but um, be a part um, be a part of independent cinema too uh, provided that you are different from um, the mainstream in terms of um, form and uh, the message or content uh, 
uh, that the film is uh, trying uh, to convey. I think um, the answer uh, to this question has a little uh, to do with uh, the filmmaker's outlook on the world. I mean, um, I mean, you think um, a certain way, and naturally, uh, that way of uh, thinking plays a part in the storytelling and uh, and uh, the choices you make at um, at different stages of filmmaking. Um, um, I uh, personally uh, think. Um, uh, that life uh, is not such an attractive attractive thing uh, and uh, it is very bitter uh, and black uh, uh, but we do uh, we don't um, necessarily um, have to take it uh, seriously and we should laugh it laugh at it um, I say um, I, s I say this um, because I have um, I have been asked uh, this question many times and uh, I had <laughs> to sit down uh, and think about um, the reason the reasons behind um, uh, behind it uh, and came up with um, the answer uh, that I just gave you. Um, when the script reached um, a script of Botox um, uh, reached the production stage naturally choosing an actor such as uh, Susan Parvar who is ba uh, basically um, a well known comedian in Iran uh, also uh, helped to highlight this tone uh, of the film um, uh, I mean Mm, a, a tone between mm, tragic uh, story and uh, comic story and dark comedy for example yes thank you thank you so much and um, i hope uh, all of you uh, uh, liked my film and enjoyed it. Have a good day.